Stand by. Oh, yay. Roll up for some good news. And here it is. Japanese car giant Nissan is recruiting for 300 new roles, including in manufacturing, engineering and maintenance at its Sunderland factory, accelerating plans for electric vehicle production. Nissan Sunderland's preparing two new eco-friendly versions of its popular models, the Duke and the Qashqai. Good for the North East and good for Britain. The bigger picture, though, is that British business confidence in June slumped to a 15-month low. That's according to the long-established Lloyds Bank Business Barometer, which fell 10 points to 28%, the lowest level since March 2021, the depths of lockdown. And the majority of firms, of course, are reporting they're having to raise prices because of inflation. During the year to May, the Consumer Price Index rose 9.1%. That's more than four times the Bank of England's 2% target, a fresh 40-year high. The Retail Price Index, an alternative inflation measure, was up 11.7% over the last year. But even more worrying, the Producer Price Index, that was 22.1% higher, pointing to serious cost pressures in the pipeline. The costs faced by firms for the inputs they need to provide the goods and services they then sell us, that is the producer price index, is now at a 45-year high. And that's why so many small firms in particular are struggling to survive. And they're upset about a new government advertising campaign to be unveiled shortly, we're told, which asks firms to cut prices for consumers to help with the cost of living crisis. Asking small firms to soak up additional costs just isn't realistic, says the Federation of Small Businesses, especially when so many are worried about basic survival and have already cut all expenses, even necessary ones, to the bone. It's a slap in the face for government to spend the extra tax it's raising from businesses on state-run marketing campaigns, says the Federation of Small Businesses. Most small firms, they say, are well beyond the point of being able to absorb extra costs without passing them on which is often a last resort. Strong words. Now, the UK's small and medium-sized enterprises, from pubs and restaurants to manufacturers and building firms, they account for half the UK economy, employing two-thirds of us. Having been hammered by lockdown and now spiralling inflation, many are on their last legs. Now, to me, a government-funded campaign asking those small and medium-sized enterprises to absorb even more cost pressures at a time when business taxation is spiralling seems woefully out of touch. Is that fair or am I being too harsh? And that's our On The Money question today. Should the government be blaming small firms for rising prices?